Now earlier today I went up to Times Square on Broadway and spoke to John Norris who's from MTV, the youth network here in America. He's one of their leading presenters. And I began by asking him, how has life changed for the youth in America and around the world since September the 11th? September 11th happened six blocks away from my from my home. So, um, you know, I felt it every day. And young people in this city in particular, I think, were, were shaken for as, as long as I can imagine is for the foreseeable future. I think outside of New York, though, I, I have talked to kids outside of the city and... And I think that they are anxious to get back to whatever a normal life is. And I think there's a lot of people who've, who've done that to a degree anyway. Now, shortly after September the 11th, you presented a program with the Secretary of State for America, Conan Powell, which broadcast internationally. That was very successful, wasn't it? It was terrific. We had affiliates from, I think, six uh, different locations internationally, from London, from Milan, from uh, New Delhi, from, uh, from Cairo, and a couple others, and just terrific. I mean, the, he fielded questions from kids, all these complete variety of subjects, not just the, the war on terror, but the environment, the war on drugs. Uh, one girl in, in, uh, in Milan had a question about uh, condom use. It got, his answer got a lot of press after that. Um, so it was great. You know, I wish it could have gone on longer. Unfortunately, we, we, time consumed strengths when I got to answer so many questions. Now, MTV is based here in New York and, in fact, broadcast daily live from Times Square here in the center of Manhattan. Around the time of September the 11th, it was a very worrying time because nobody knew who was going to be the next target. Did you ever fear that personally, or did MTV ever consider moving? Yeah, well, the first couple of days, TRL, the show, was not on the air. Um, but uh, And I can't speak for the channel or the company, but I seriously doubt whether any, any real consideration was given to moving the show or, or moving the company, certainly. New York is MTV and MTV is New York. This is the, the place where it was born and I can't imagine us ever leaving the city. And likewise, I can't imagine myself ever leaving. I There's there's no place like the city. I mean, I love London. I love Paris. There's an energy and a specialness that this place has for me. And I wasn't born here, but um, I've lived here many years and um, I can't imagine ever leaving it. Uh, we're absolutely a target uh, for a lot of people, as this nation is a target, as far as a lot of people are concerned. It makes me proud to live in this city. It's, it's a great place, and I encourage anyone to visit here if they haven't been here. Do you think New York is now back to as normal as it's ever going to be? It's different. I don't... I, you know, this, this city certainly, and even this country, has really never experienced anything on this order. So I don't know if, I think maybe we have just a new normal. It's going to take time, but um, it's this very resilient city. It's known for its toughness and its resiliency, and I think that it, uh, it's demonstrated it more than ever in the wake of this. And. You know, I've, I've got faith in the city, for sure. I suppose the challenge you had was when the kids were saying, what's happening? Nobody had an answer. Well, that's right. Not initially. We didn't. You know, we were all learning this as it went on. Um, one of our missions initially, we felt, was to kind of reassure our audience that, you know, the vast majority of New York is still here and we're OK. And uh, obviously we're shaken, but and, and we, there's still a lot of unanswered questions, but we're going to survive. And um, and us hang in there with us and we'll be there for you.